All right, so the problem is that we saw an article, you know, how 16 chips can create as much pollution as all the cars in the world. And we wanted to find a solution that uh, gives us the ability to detect smoke. So uh, we have two cameras on board this drone. One of them does uh, smoke analysis. Um, and we, we designed a drone that is autonomously guided by real-time AIS data. So we know exactly where all the ships are and we know how to find them. And we're able to get it closer than any coastal camera can do. So current technology doesn't do what we can. All right, so computer analysis is more accurate than human, uh, human estimation. So this can give you specifics, you know, the density of the smoke, 20%, as compared to a human eye, you could predict, well, there's a lot of smoke, or maybe there's not much smoke. And we can actually log that all in a database, and you can actually analyze uh, the relationship of smoke production or environmental pollution over time, and how a ship improves its uh, environmental records. All right, now we're gonna show you a little demo. Now this is a computer vision algorithm that we developed during the hackathon. Right, so this shows that we're analyzing ships, we're looking for green spots, and anything that's green is not smoke. And we're looking for uh, the production of colors of smoke and the density of the smoke. All right, um, tap. Yeah, let's go. yeah, so this is a long, so we're not gonna go through all this. All right, so what else can we do with these drones? So um, we look through one month of AIS data. And what, what we discovered is that um, there are a lot of anomalies in AIS. Like, for example, uh, ships that go too quickly, ships that are in you know, collision courses, you know, two ships anchored too close to one another. And we decided that uh, we can build a system that analyzes real-time AIS data and produces alerts when any kind of interesting uh, anomalies occur. And uh, we have a system that automatically launches drones, either from uh, coastal or uh, ship-based platforms. And these, these drones can autonomously fly to the location specified by AIS and get a closer look on what's actually happening. So we can also analyze things like, for example, if a ship turns off its uh, AIS transponder, so it disappears off the map. So these drones can be sent out to the last known location and perform a very standard search algorithm. Um, this gives you an opportunity to you know, uh, help the MPA as a force multiplier. So one ship can now analyze more locations, you know, look after the, the seas and provide more protection. Um, thank you very much.